Hey Ligari Nation, we've got another great video for you today. Our epoxy floor kits are designed to transform your space in no time. Check out how easy it is to get this one of a kind look. We used a brass base and black highlights. Before we get started on today's video, we wanted to let you know that we're on our way to 800,000 subscribers and we've noticed that a huge percentage of you guys that watch our videos every week are not subscribed to our channel. It only takes seconds out of your day to press that subscribe button, especially if you enjoy this content. We launch videos every week so you can get notified every time there's a new one. Thanks for all your support. We hope you enjoy the video. Pouring out the brass base coat right now. Now this will be a brass base with black highlights and he's gonna apply the highlights with our puddle technique. We really like the puddle technique. What he's doing is he's just spreading out the majority of the base coat with a squeegee. You wanna get like 90% of that base coat spread out with the squeegee and you wanna focus on the edges first because the edges seem to take the longest. And then once you have that epoxy spread to the edges, then it's easy to just fill in between and, and kind of pull the thicker spots into the thinner spots and make it level out a little bit. So this does about 90% of the work and then we'll put a roller on there and then it'll be perfectly level when we're done rolling it. Now, now he's got the roller. This is a nine inch roller. It's a three eighth inch nap. And you just wanna put it on the floor and soak it up first. You want that completely saturated in epoxy. So we like to saturate it in the thicker spots of the floor. Then you're just gonna go back and forth and you're not applying any pressure. That roller is just gliding on the top and it's picking up the thicker spots and dropping it off at the thinner spots. It's helping to, to distribute that epoxy more evenly all the way across the surface. Now keep in mind that when you have larger areas, we recommend 18 inch rollers. And, and still, you're gonna do a 3 8 inch nap and you wanna de-shed your rollers always. Roll it on some, some scotch tape, the sticky side of the scotch tape. And he's just gonna randomly pour out some small puddles and then he's just gonna make it as random as possible. You're trying to get away from a real consistent design and sometimes even by, by being random, you end up doing a consistent design. It's, it's an interesting thing. But when, when he swirls the floor, you'll be able to see how you can actually change the design a little bit no matter where you put these, these drips.
And you want to make sure you get all the drips near the edges too because we like it to look like it goes right underneath walls and right to the edge. You don't want this just a brass outline everywhere. You want to get it close to the wall. Now he's going to move from one side of the floor to the other side, just rolling all the way across the floor, slowly distributing the piles into the base coat. Now he's not pushing hard. He's letting it glide on the top of the epoxy. The beauty of our resin is it continues to move for hours after you're done. Not only does it self-level, but it self-marbleizes. The metallics are sinking and, and lifting and they're, they're doing their thing. So by the time the next day rolls around, it's gonna look like a natural marbleized floor. There's gonna be no roller lines and even that brass, that beautiful brass color, it's gonna have three or four different tones of brass even within it. Same thing with the black. So it's not just gonna be a two-tone floor. There's gonna be about five or six different shades. That's the beauty of our metallics.